Hi, my name is Clayton Menor. I am Brazilian and I am a missionary candidate to Paraguay. With my family, I am married to Viviani and we have three beautiful kids. They're Laura, Elisa, twins, and Lucas. The twins are four years old and Lucas is two years old. So in this video, I just want to share with you a little bit of our story and how God has prepared us and led us into missions. So, like I said, uh, we're all Brazilians. I am from a different side of the country than my wife. I'm from the northeast side of the country and she's from the south. She is actually from the city of Foz do Iguaçu, the city that borders to Paraguay. So she's very familiar to the country of Paraguay and even to the language of Spanish, which is one of the languages they speak there. And uh, we met in the coast of Paraná State in southern Brazil. Uh, I was a youth pastor and she was also a youth leader and we were together involved in many different uh, ministries but especially we were both you, uh, working with youth. And she would be um, a girls counseling person and I was a youth pastor. So together we were very focused in uh, evangelism with the youth we had. So we had this group around 30 to 40 teenagers and we would get them together and pray with them and prepare them to share the gospel out of the church building. And what we would do, we would go into the schools, into you know, out in the squares, in the streets, and we would perform very different uh, kinds of things using arts, using music, using martial arts, even dancing, and people would gather together and and we would share the gospel with them. And uh, this is what we were doing at first, right when we met in 2009 until 2014. We got married in 2013. And in 2015, the Lord blessed us with the, the, our first kids. And also, the Lord blessed me uh, with the opportunity to be a pastor in one of the churches in southern Brazil. So as uh, being a pastor was a very challenging moment in my life. I, I just had kids and uh, it's a completely different ministry, but the Lord opened the doors for it and he was also preparing me and my wife and our hearts into uh, loving other people and, and being sensitive about reaching to other lives that needs to listen to the gospel. And something that I was also involved was to start this Bible training program. In 2017, we created the seminary called Grace Seminary, uh, Seminario da Graça in Portuguese, in Portuguese, Grace Seminary in English. This seminary is a Bible training uh, from the locals, all, all held by the locals, local pastors in southern Brazil. We are now preparing around 20 people to continue, uh, you know, to step into the ministry and to be leaders and to be new pastors in our, in our side of the country. So to be part of this project was very important for me because this is something that I will do as well in, in Paraguay. So Viviani... In these past years, she was involved with children's ministry and ladies' ministry at church, as well as being a mother of three. So in 2018, we took a trip to Paraguay with some youth from our church. And what we wanted, we wanted them to experience what life is in the mission field. But we were there with them, and we could see the needs of the field and we could get to know more, a little bit more about the life of the missionaries there. And we were happy to be there and to see how the Lord was leading all the situations and uh, the challenges that they were facing as well. So after that trip, God was actually speaking to our hearts uh, that we should step into missions and to help that church planting in Paraguay. Oh, well. So um, two years after that, we were glad to join GMI, Grace Ministries International, as the new missionary candidates, as we are right now. So I'm bringing to you a few uh, informations about Paraguay as a country. Paraguay is a 
the heart of South America. It's a landlocked country right in the middle of South America. It's about the size of California. Over 7 million people live there. It's a bilingual country. They speak Spanish and they speak Guarani, which is a native language that they have kept as a cultural language. And uh, over 90% of the population is not evangelical Christian. So that means it's a huge door of opportunity right next to us in Brazil that needs uh, the gospel, that needs to listen about Jesus as their savior. And uh, Brazilians are the largest immigrant community in, in Paraguay. So over 350,000 Brazilians live right now, currently, in Paraguay. Our goals in Paraguay, we want to strengthen the work at Iglesia Bíblica Gracia. There's already one church that was planted by the missionary team that is right now in Ciudad del Este. That's the city that borders to Brazil and borders to Argentina as well. It's a very specific uh, and very strategic city that the missionaries has, have already planted this church there. And we, we want to use that church as a base to reach out to the rest of the country. We have already targeted two other cities that are very important cities, and we want to have churches planted there uh, in the next following years. So another thing we want to do, we want to reach to the Brazilian community of that country. There's only in Ciudad del Este, the city where the church is planted, there's 20,000 Brazilian uh, students, medical students, college students. So we want to reach out to them. Uh, they come to Paraguay, they don't even know how to speak Spanish. They come because tuition is very low and some of them will not finish their courses just because they will get into drugs or alcohol or many, many different bad things. So we want to reach to them very intentionally as soon as we get to Paraguay. And also, we want to help begin the Bible training in Paraguay because we do not want to be there forever. We want the church to grow and expand and to have their own Bible training program so that other Paraguayans will get ready to step into mission and to become missionaries as well, or even pastors of the local churches we are going to plant. And also, we want to translate sound doctrine theological books from English into Portuguese, because I can speak Portuguese right now, but later on, even into Spanish as well. Well, how to support us? You can pray. Please pray for our adjustment. This is such a new thing for our family. Our kids are still little. You can pray for adjustment and even for the homeschooling that we're going to have to face with our kids in, in Paraguay. You can pray for the learning process of learning Spanish and learning Guarani as well. We want to be intentional and we don't just want to learn Spanish, but also we want to learn the cultural way of communicating to people, which is Guarani. And please pray for open doors and for open hearts that will listen and believe in the gospel of Jesus. And uh, we are still raising our funds, so uh, we also, another way you can be uh, helping us is by giving towards our monthly uh, support and even towards our expenses uh, to moving there and, and, and to finding this, you know, this car in a good shape. So we need to raise a little more funds, monthly funds, close to $2,000, and uh and, and a one-time gift of $16,000. So if you're willing to help us, please join us in making God's message of grace known among the Paraguayan people. So right here is a few um, contact informations. You can be in touch with us. Thank you.